body separated and moved out of the way, Andrew threads two of the chuck attaching screws into the adapter plate and uses the adjustable wrench again to hold the spindle stationary while the adapter plate screws are broken loose. Don't remove the adapter screws yet. The adapter plate is usually a very tight fit on the spindle's tapered face. Some hardy taps at the outer edge of the plate with a large dead blow hammer should unseat the plate. At the workbench, Andrew cleans both faces of the adapter plate. WD-40 works well to cut the grease and blows out any chips or debris stuck in the screw holes. Then, check for dings or high spots on both faces using a fine grit deburring stone. Spray a few shots of WD-40 on the face and lightly draw the stone across the face, feeling for a change in drag to indicate there is a ding or high spot. Don't push down. You're not trying to remove material from the entire surface, just any high spots that might be present. Rub the tapered bore to check for damage there as well. Carefully remove any nicks that are found. Why is it important to maintain clean, smooth mounting surfaces? So we can avoid the situation that Mr. Robert Thornton out of New Jersey encountered. I think I was a little hasty when I mounted my chuck the first time. I pulled the chuck again and found a small steel chip between the adapter plate and the chuck. The chip and burr it caused were lifting the plate up. With the adapter plate cleaned and checked, Andrew moves to the chuck and pulls the tapered wedge upwards until the rear face is just a little past the chuck body. He then lifts the chuck upright. He checks both sides of the chuck body to remove any chips or other debris found in the inner recesses. Andrew finds chips in several areas inside the chuck body. He uses a pair of tweezers to pull the chips out of the recessed areas and checks for chips lying inside the range of master jaw travel. With all visible chips removed, Andrew lowers the chuck body back onto its face. He sprays WD-40 on the rear mount face and cleans it thoroughly. Then with a little more WD-40 added to the surface, he checks for dings and high spots using the deburring stone again. With the mounting surface smooth, he moves on to thoroughly clean the draw nut threads and also checks that the draw nut rotates freely from one detent position to the next. If it's been more than six months since the chuck was last removed, now is a good time to disassemble the chuck for cleaning and general maintenance. Reference the documentation available from the chuck manufacturer for the exact steps involved in servicing your specific model of chuck. Move to the spindle face and clean it with WD-40 as well, again followed by a check with a fine deburring stone. With the spindle face prepared, it is ready to accept either our